What's going on, everybody? This is your boy Tristan with Beam Me Presents. And tonight, tomorrow, now, tonight, we got a special guest, Jordan Khan, man. What's up, man? Tonight, what's going, what's going on? on with you, man? Everything yeah, good? Everything is blessed, man. So tonight, we're talking about this new movie you got, Street Dreams Los Angeles. Tell us about it, man. What's going on with that? Man, Street Dreams Los Angeles, man, it's quite a story, man. It's basically a story about this undercover cop. Um, he starts, you know, out in L.A., you know, young boy. He got, has an unfortunate event happens to him, and uh, he meets somebody that changes his life. And this guy happens to be an FBI agent, so he's like, yo, I think that's what I want to become. So, uh, but of course, he's he's a young black man right. going through the system. So he's got to yeah, go through, you know, the racism, everything, right? tensions. He got he's got his girlfriend. You know, she he's trying to work with that, and then right. he's his own people in his own his own uh, platoon. Right. They giving him a hard time. So he gets he actually comes across a case right. that might actually help him get into the FBI. So right. it's quite of a up uh, uh, what should I say coming of age right. action urban drama. So gotcha, check gotcha. it out, man. Gotcha. So who you got in the film? I know you saw one person named, who is it? Eric Bellinger? Yeah, we got Eric okay. Bellinger. He got a single out right now called Type Away with Chris Brown. Okay. We got Saya. She was in um, The Purge. And okay. she was also on, uh, I think it was uh, Love and Hip Hop or Sisters of uh, wow. Hip Hop or something like that. Got some big time people. Yeah, movie, yeah. We got, uh, I'm going to give a special <laughs> shout out to those to those actors and, and actresses. Uh, we got Jessica Vanessa. She's she's doing her thing on um on Instagram, you got like one one point something million followers. Okay, you remember Cali Swag District? Teach me how to duck. Yeah, okay, I yeah, remember that. Okay, boy young, he's in there. Appreciate wow. him coming out. He's got he's out there on tour right now overseas. So y'all better listen to this. <laughs> y'all better see what he doing. <laughs> so we got a cool little cast, cool story, and shout out to my uh, my co director Romaine Simon, and of course my 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 mice, my ace, my coon coon. Aaron Styles Patrick, you know, we produced this whole project together. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have, you know, we got a couple of other films that we released, but this right right here is, the, is our first major release as far as, okay. yeah. Got you. So with a film like this, man, how long does it take to put something like this together? Because I know some people would take months, <laughs> not even months. What you trying to say, Tristan? Huh? Hold on, I'm coming <laughs> on set right now. What you trying to say, Tristan? <laughs> What you trying to say, Tristan? Well, yeah, it take a long time to make a movie, Tristan. With technical Get back to your interview. With technical difficulties, sometimes films can take a long time to go well and go right. So, you know, I just wanted to know, for inspiring filmmakers, people that want to be filmmakers, how long did it take you to write the script? Okay, let me break that down for you. So basically, okay. for me, um, you know, when the inspiration comes, it comes. So. Right. For me, you know, I wrote the script in like maybe three days. Okay. Um, of course, we had a couple of rewrites, a couple of things changed here because you got to make, you got to have a really compelling story. Right. Um, then we went through a whole process of uh, casting that took about two to three weeks casting and locations. Right. Um, then we filmed all, we filmed the whole movie in one week, and that was exhausting, man. Like I would, I probably wouldn't recommend anybody to do that unless they got a really comfortable budget right everybody team. yeah right. And a nice team you guys because yeah. we were working our crew members i know some of them were complaining and i we were waking up at the crack of dawn and it's it's, right. it's tough especially yeah. when you know wearing so many hats as far as the acting right. and helping uh the directing yeah. and things like that and uh what really took the longest point was uh post-production that took okay. about editing and everything yeah that took about a year man about a year and some change only because you know we we went into a, it was a shoestring budget, right. so we had to work. We had to had to. We ran into a lot of complications as far as you know how to do reshoots and right. and just uh, not having everything needed. But we was able to cut a trail out to get some buzz for the film, and we got pretty good feedback from that. So we knew okay, we got something. So we got to do whatever we got to do to get right. this done. And I went man, it was quite a journey man just to get it done. I had to come back home. Um, I actually had to like come back home get my mind together right I flew back out to LA I got a call from NBC they brought me in okay. um, to do work on a couple of shows as a as an editor okay and with that okay. with that I was taking that money right and putting it back into the movie yeah you got to invest in yourself yeah, you got everybody out there whether it's music movies whatever it is you want to get into in the industry you got to invest in yourself it ain't gonna come to you cheap yeah you know what I'm saying if you in music you might be a little Nas X and that one here, <laughs> but other than that, you gotta invest. So everybody out there, make sure you invest in your in your craft and what you want to do. Especially you invest in yourself, that's gonna attract other investors. So initially, you want to invest in yourself. Right, right. But, uh, yeah, so basically that's what I did, man. I invested in myself, my boy. We we went hit the drawing board. It's okay. like, okay, what scenes could we keep? What scenes could we modify? What can we add? Right. And it all came together. You know, all glory to God. You know, it right. all came together. 
And then the next process was getting it out there. So we had to, as soon as we, all our, all our hard work paid off because as right. soon as we started shopping around, we was getting offers. Gotcha. So we took the best one. And um, so we got national distribution, Amazon okay. Prime, uh, Voodoo, uh, Fandango Now, uh, and Tubi TV, which you can see absolutely free on there. Okay. And then next month, we, it's coming out on DVDs to certain stores. We're going to okay. Pluto TV and a couple other networks. So gotcha. it's just... It's just a steady bit. Yeah. yeah. That's all you need, man. Yeah. That grind and that hard work. Yeah. Man. That's all it takes. Bro. So you keep telling me about this movie, man. Let's go into a trailer real quick. And we'll be right back. Elijah, I understand what you're going through. But you ain't got to end up like everybody around here. Put your mind to something and, and just strive to be something better. You like being an agent? I don't do anything that I don't love. Ever since we were kids, all you talked about was you becoming a pig. I know that you've been putting in applications to get into the FBI. You're not ready. So you're gonna let this madman go blow up an entire stadium? Is that what you're telling me? You know damn terrorists? And I don't give a fuck about Dodger State. What could uh, possibly go uh, wrong? A cop or some cop? Some cop came. You pursue this case. Getting into the FBI is over. I was some next level shit, and you know I want in. You gotta play the game, honey. If not, these dudes is gonna play you. You're not gonna be satisfied until we're broke or dead. I know them streets like I know them laws. So tell I know you got the film and everything, but I want to know the backstory. Like, where'd you come from? Like, how did you get into film? And yeah. what made you get into everything you got going on now? Okay. Yeah. Well, personally, you probably know a, a, a nice little percentage of it since we came up together. You a know, coming from Hampton, Virginia. Just a little bit. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm I'm a uh, Hampton, Hampton, Virginia native man. Okay. Started out here in Hampton, man. I actually was born in New York. Okay. Came out to Hampton when I was about eight years old. Right. And uh, you know, I was always just a crazy kid as far as having a crazy imagination and right. I knew I had so, something was was brewing up in me right. or whatever so um I actually first started dancing man that's what uh, that was my first love so to speak besides right. martial arts but my first love was like dancing and I went right. with that I was dancing local community shows right. town shows doing whatever I could to get my name out there right. get my skills up and things like that and eventually you know after high school I went to shout out to Bethel High School right. Um, I was like, man, I want to do this for real, for real. Like, I want to yeah. take this as serious as I can. I want to be, I want to be out there on tour, you know, watching right. Michael Jackson and Usher and all right. these boys. I, I want to be one of them dancers on the stage, dancing behind them. Right. So you got to level up, you evolve. Right. And so, uh, you know, make a long story short, you know. So I went through school, got my, um, got my degree and stuff like that. And I teamed up my boy. We started a film production company. And we just started cutting short films. Boom, 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 okay. boom. Get better at it. He's like, yo, we got to step it up. Right. Cut a feature. We didn't really succeed with that one, and then we got to this feature where we at right now, Street okay. Dreams, Los Angeles, gotcha. and now we just ready to take it to the next level. Sound good, man. Yeah. Sound good. Mm -hmm. So I know we're running out of time, mm -hmm. but <laughs> tell me one crazy story from filming this whole movie. <laughs> okay, all right, check it. <laughs> so I know it's a story. I have every film, every song. Hit song, every hit film. It's always a crazy story behind it. So go ahead and tell so me. So we that. was uh, man. Yo, you, when you when you when you when you do movies, man, scout your locations thoroughly. So we was in the hood, man. I think it was the rolling sixties, somewhere around in the sixties oh, in L.A. Oh damn! And uh, we was out there shooting. We was out there with young the dude I was telling you about from Kelly Swag District, right. whatnot. And we were shooting the scene. Everything was going cool. Everything was going fine. Next thing we know, um, so one of my homeboys at the other end comes down. I'm like, yo, we gotta go. We gotta go now. I'm like, yo, what's he talking about? Next thing we know. This car comes roll, rushing down. This dude got this big old shotgun. Clack, clack. Yo, what y'all doing up here? Like what boys in the hood? Like, yeah. Like but it was Ricky? Some, it was some, Ricky! <laughs> but it was like some essays. It was some essays. Oh. So we was like, we turn around, we see him, he caught the shotgun. Next thing I know, everybody take off. Do, do, do. We in the alley, just haul and tail, cameraman, sound guy. Then my homeboy trip. I'm like, oh my God, we about to get killed. So I'm like, yo, get up. We running, running. We running out the, out the uh, joint. And now the rest of our crew, they thinking it's part of the scene. And so we got that <laughs> running. They thinking it's part of the scene. We're like, yo, we got to go. Dude come with the shotgun driving around. 
And my my silly self left the day. My uh, dropped my cell phone in the alley. My car was still in the alley, so I had to find a way to sneak back Maybe in there. Get, get your car. Yeah, and try not to get shot. And be like, yo, we gotta go. It's just like, bro, it was scout your locations, man. Right, really, because sure. we was like dead in the hood on on, on Mexican SA territory. Black dudes, they went colors because it was like oh. a gay scene too. They were colors, so he went blue, he went red. So they was like, yo, we that that story will go down to history, bro. <laughs> Scout your locations, man. <laughs> Dang, that sounds like a good story, man. <laughs> Just let y'all know, man. This is Jordan Khan. Yes, sir. Give him your your uh, social media and everything. Oh, man. no doubt. Yeah, so if you want to uh, find me, you know, follow my journey, man. You can find me at Mr. Jordan Khan. That's M R J O R D A N C A N N. My film production page, which is J N S Film Productions. Um, you can find my boy at By Aaron Patrick as well. And we on Facebook, all that social media. Appreciate y'all. Follow me. Yes, sir. Tell yeah. them where they can get the movie at one more time. Yeah, oh, for sure. Yeah, and don't forget, you can check it out on Amazon Prime. You can check it out on Voodoo. You can check it out on Fandango Now. And if you want to see it absolutely free, you can go to 2BTV.com and get that app. Or just go straight to the website. And then, like I said, in a couple months, look out for the DVD and a couple of other sites. And there you have it, man. Yeah. It's your boy Tristan with BME Presents. I'm signing out, and I'm gone. Yeah. <laughs>